Hello and welcome to New India Junction. This is Priyanka Deo. Now with CAA and NRC going on over the past few days, there have been several FAQs that have come up. I'm going to answer the most common ones. Here we go. FAQ number one, why is the CAA necessary? The Nehru Liaquat Pact signed in 1950 by India and Pakistan was made to safeguard minorities. Now, while Indian minorities prospered, the minority populations in neighboring countries saw massive reductions. This was because minority populations in Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh have been treated badly, including forceful conversion of religion, violence and rape. FAQ number two, what about other refugees not included in the CAA? Well, the government is clear that all other refugees like Sri Lankan Tamils and Tibetans will be dealt with existing laws like the Foreigners Act of 1946 under due process. Now, the CAA focuses on persecuted religious minorities, which does not mean that other refugees will be ignored. FAQ number three, why not apply the CAA to Rohingyas? Well, first of all, CAA is for religiously persecuted minorities from Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan. So Rohingyas do not fall into the category in the first place. Additionally, there are irrefutable reports that Rohingyas are a threat to Indian national security interests. In fact, these reports say that this group is linked with terrorist organizations like ISIS and the LET. Even the Bangladesh PM Sheikh Hasina has called Rohingyas a threat to national security and that's on record. FAQ number 4. What about the detention centres that already exist? The detention centres that you may be seeing all over media in Assam were created by the earlier Congress regime according to the 1985 Assam Accord. Furthermore, PM Modi is right in claiming that urban Naxals and Congress are lying on detention centres for Muslims. The reality is that there are no detention camps for Muslims in India and that goes for the PM Modi government and earlier regimes as well. As far as the method that's going to be used for the deportation of illegal immigrants, that has not been finalised yet. However, the present government of Bangladesh has already stated that it is ready to accept those who are proven Bangladeshi citizens and came to India. FAQ number 5. Is the CAA anti-Muslim? The answer to that is no. The CAA is for religiously persecuted refugees from three countries, that is Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh. FAQ number 6. Is the CAA connected to the NRC? The answer to that is no. The CAA is for refugees. People are getting misinformed because the 1971 cutoff date was Assam specific for the Assam NRC. The NRC is simply to show who is an Indian citizen and who is not, and it's not even been announced yet. If and when it is announced, the rules for a nationwide NRC will be formed. FAQ number 7. Does the CAA affect the influx of refugees in the Northeast? No, northeastern states like Mizoram, Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland are protected by the inner line permit system. The state of Meghalaya is protected by the sixth schedule. Furthermore, designated tribal areas of Assam and Tripura are exempted from the CAA. Well, there you have it, the most common FAQs answered about the CAA. Please spread this video to people that need to see it in order to stop the misinformation and fake news. For New India Junction, this is Priyanka Deo, signing off.